Well, we've got a really attractive engine to show you today. It's, this is a HP 20 with a lovely powder coated, I'm assuming this is powder coated rather than just painted. Uh, a lovely powder coated finish and this gold anodizing. Really, really attractive. This one's a, a little bit mucky, needs a little bit of a clean up, but I'm sure this will clean up lovely. And it's quite nice that the, the carb and the, the muffler have got the same kind of powder coating. Uh, you often see engines that are, uh, are, are coloured like this, but not with the, um, the carb and the muffler. So that's really, really nice. So as I said, it's a HP 20 and it's a ABC engine. I don't know whether we can just see the top of the piston in there. Possibly not, but it's an ABC engine anyway, and it's made in Austria. We can see there on the lug. So another great engine out of Austria. There's some, been some really good engines in the past, and it's so sad that, that some of these engines aren't, or most of these engines aren't produced anymore. I believe that HP first did these engines in a 60 size and a 40 size, in the 70s I believe and I think this one is from the early 80s. I, I may be wrong on that, if I am leave me a comment because I'm, I'm really keen to learn as much as I can about these engines but I believe it was from the, the, the early 80s. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this runs. Hopefully it will, it will run as well as it looks. Oh it's a, a twin needle carb which is really nice, my favourite. So we've got the, the high speed needle on this side and we've got a, a needle there which, yeah, we can turn it with our fingers. It's, um, sorry, where, there we go. But there's also a slot for a screwdriver. So, and it feels a lovely smooth, smooth carb. So it'll be interesting to see how how this runs. So let's get off to the airfield and get it clamped in that stand. Well, hi there. I've got this lovely, lovely HP 20 now and it's all ready to go. I'm going to be running it on my normal fuel, which is the 7% uh, nitro with a 20% oil mix. That's 50 50 synthetic and castor, and the prop is a 9x5. I'm not sure what the plug is, it's certainly not an OS, so, well, I'll run it with that and see how it goes. Okay, well let's see how this HP20 performs.
I don't know whether you can see, but there's. Uh, let me kill it. I don't know whether you can see, but there's a, a huge amount of oil and fuel coming from the, the front of the crankcase housing there. It doesn't like idling very well, but I think when it is idling, you can see there isn't any fuel or anything, and I think it's sucking in air through that bearing. As soon as you put it into full throttle, I think there's an excess of fuel going in, there's enough air going in, and the fuel starts pouring out of the bottom. Well, what a beautiful engine this is. It just looks the ticket. Really, really nice. But there are problems with it, with this front bearing. It, it, it runs lovely, it's got a nice transition, there's no vibration in it at all. But the amount of fuel and, and oil that's dripping out of that front, it's not only going to cause problems with a, a plane that you've spent months building and finishing with the, the, the amount of, of, of liquid that's dropping down there, but I believe the engine's not running right because of it. And I think that bearing is obviously going to be an open bearing. It might have a shield, but probably not. It's going to need to be replaced, I think, with a, a one with a seal on it. Whether that's a double seal or you take off the inside seal so it can get some, some lubrication. I, personally, I think I would probably put a, a just leave a, the bearing sealed. I've done that before with a Irvine 20 and a Merco 61 that I've had similar issues with and boy they run so much sweeter and so different when you resolve that air leak at the front and, and that, um, that drip of fuel. And a lot of the, the, the high quality later engines they did start putting sealed bearings in whereas the very early engines didn't. So I think that's something that definitely needs doing because this didn't like to idle. Full throttle, lovely. Transition was nice although could do some work on it but that idle it just didn't want to idle nicely at, at a low speed so anyway beautiful engine and I hope you enjoyed seeing it and uh, that would look brilliant in a in a plane in the future